Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Elven GPTV. Out this week's is one of the releases in my hand is Mira Tiebreaker, the first release from DC Inc. And uh, I gotta tell you, I am super excited about this release. I've been super excited about DC Inc. and uh, its kind of sister uh, imprint, DC Zoom. Uh, so Inc. is all about the YA reader, the young adult reader. Mira Tiebreaker is the first one uh, of the release. It's written by Daniel Page. Um, I think art by Stephen Byrne. Yeah, illustrated by Stephen Byrne. And it has uh, a focus on Mera, um, Zebel Princess, and kind of her coming into her own and, and finding her place in her kingdom. Uh, long story short, uh, Zebel is uh, one, of the king, uh, one of the kingdoms and is under control by Atlantis. They feel like they are being oppressed by Atlantis and want to throw off the rulers. Uh, to do so, they decide that they're going to kill Arthur, the prince of Atlantis, uh, and whoever does that is going to go and take over uh, rule of Zebel eventual, eventually, and Amira wants that to be her. She goes seeks out Arthur uh, to kill him, and from there, well... I'm not gonna really describe it from there. It's uh, if you, you when you really think about it and listen to it, it's um, that's pretty jacked up of a story that uh, they have. Why uh, kids read? I I'm just, I actually just I'm not a why you reader. I don't read young adults. So uh, my experience here is like maybe the one or two movies from Hunger Games that I've watched. Um, glimpses of other stuff. All those are like apocalyptic, tons of death and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, the, the material doesn't surprise me really in the end. It, it just, it's funny when you kind of like really throw it out there. You're like, holy crap, this is something for kids to read. Um, that being said, this is really good. This is a fantastic graphic novel. I loved it. I really, really loved it. I had high expectations going into this for DC Inc. And, um, came out of it really, uh, really enjoying it. I mean, this is all about Mira finding her own, coming into, uh, uh, coming into her role and her uh, position in the world. It's got some great themes going over there, coming girl power, young romance, coming of age, going off the sheet of the stuff that they kind of really thrown out, but none of it is, is incorrect in that. Um, it, it's really focused around Mira and, um, and her kind of throwing off what she has been taught throughout her life and coming to think for her own, which I think is a fantastic lesson. Um, you know, we are kind of indoctrinated in many ways growing up, and that's kind of what this graphic novel deals with. Uh, we, 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 are, we grow up with prejudices and bigotry that we learn from uh, our parents and those around us, and uh, that is kind of the really the theme of the book. And Mira going to um, kind of challenge that and and learn more about that and uh, and stand out. And then there's also just straight up blatant like sexism within, and that's dealt with as well. It's top notch. Great writing. Uh, absolutely love it. I dig the art. The art's actually really cool. Uh, this is this is the the coloring style and the the art style. I think this shows off really well. She's got her red hair. <laughs> The, the color is minimum in in the graphic novel. Like, there is not much done here as far as that. Uh, it's just this, like, blues and her red which and blacks uh, and some grays. And I think all that combined is, is just really kind of cool look to it all. Um, so I'm kind of impressed with the, the, the styling of it all. It's just, it's just a really cool look. Um, and I dig it. I dig it a lot. Uh, I love this, if you can't quite figure that out. I highly recommend it as a, a YA read. It's top-notch stuff. Um, it has me super excited for the rest of DC Inc. to check out what uh, what's coming from that. Uh, for this, all this quality of that, they're like, there's this guaranteed success. Um, just a fantastic graphic novel, fantastic read. Uh, great for kids uh, who are, you know, mature enough for the YA. You know, obviously... Check it out if you're a parent. Make sure the uh, material is good for the kid. But uh, other than that, there's some good life lessons. And even beyond that, just the story I think is really good. It's a nice twist and uh, new interpretation of Mira and, and Arthur, a.k.a. Aquaman. Just, I, it's good. It's really, really, really good. Uh, Top-notch stuff. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Absolutely go get it. It's in comic shops now. It's in bookstores um, out on uh, April 2nd. 
So go get it in your comic shop. That's uh, that's obviously the one I would love you to go support. There's a link beneath this video. You can both put in a zip code. It'll tell you if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. Uh, we also got some affiliate links, but you know, go support your comic shop uh, first and foremost. Uh, beyond that, I want to thank DC for hooking us up with this uh, review copy. We always like to be transparent about that. And thank you for watching. Now, if you are into uh, if you're into comics, if you are into graphic novels, if you're into DC, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.